Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your weekly astrology. This week, you have my Kathy's fabulous film to see you through. That's because I'm taking a bit of time off, so I don't feel like being in front of camera, my darlings. Anyway, this week is a big week. Not only is Mercury retrograde, we have five planets retrograde. That means it's time to go back to the future. Here's your weekly astrology. Hey Capricorn, you might feel as if people are really annoying this week, particularly as if some you've got something on the go and you feel it's important and someone kind of suddenly turns the tables and goes, no, we're not doing it, we're not doing it in that way, we're going to do it in a different way. You might feel that you want to get into a power struggle with someone and it's it's annoying, you know. This will pass, this energy, and really it's quite important how you handle the frustration and the annoyance and how, how you deal with somebody who's trying to butt heads with you right now. So, you know, what can I say? You have to be patient. You have to think, how have I dealt with this in the past? Okay, so whatever situation you're in now, was there a situation in the past that, that was like this? And how did you handle it? Did it go well for you? Did you handle it in the right way? Or did you screw it up because you handled it by being pig-headed? You know, whatever you did, you've got to be very, very sure that you're you're dealing with things as carefully and as kind of properly as possible. And look at what's going on underneath the surface of any situation where there's miscommunication. You know, have you got it right? Is there? A, can you just check that you're not misunderstanding what someone else is saying to you? Now, we also have the sun conjunct the north node opposing Saturn in your sign. It's a time to think about what you want from your relationships, how committed you are to your relationships and what commitment means to you, especially as the sun is opposing Pluto. So there could be a power struggle in a relationship or somebody wanting the relationship to be one way and the other person wanting the relationship to be in another way. And it's like it's frustrating. It's always frustrating. Let's say, you know, you love someone, but they're like, right, I'm going to make a change. Or I want you to behave like this. You know, fundamentally, we shouldn't be trying to control people in relationships. We are our own people. We must love people and give other people freedom. But in practice, sometimes that quite, that's quite difficult if your relationship has been going one way and suddenly want some somebody wants something completely different. You know, for instance, if somebody suddenly said, right, I want to be polyamorous. It's like, oh, you've got a choice of whether you want to do that. But if, if they want to be polyamorous, that's completely up to them. If somebody wants wants to move out and still have a relationship with you, you're like, well, again, you've got a choice. Do you want a relationship with them not living with you? Equally, if somebody wants to move in, is that what you want? Relationships are about finding the middle ground, but also fundamentally about being true to ourselves and our sense of personal freedom. So in all of your relationships, not just your intimate relationships, there may be something going on that involves a shifting of the goalposts, a change of energy. Luckily, the sun is trying Neptune on the 11th UK time. And really, all this week, there is a sense that you want compromise, that you want to find the middle ground, that you want to bring out the beauty in situations and the love. So fingers crossed, you'll be OK. But there will be a surprise because Mars is squaring Uranus. Uranus is bringing in something. Hopefully it'll be a pleasant surprise, but it means change. It means flexibility. Lots of love, gorgeous. You take care and I'll speak to you soon.